There are four indicators for predicting if a couple are going to survive a marriage or end up getting divorced. If you find any of these in your relationship, I will also cover how to solve them, so please listen up. I'm going to discuss John Gottman's Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse and their antidotes. Gottman used them as a way to describe communication styles that can quite confidently determine the end of a relationship using scientific methods. His research covered over 40 years of relationship research. This is what we will cover in this video. Hi and welcome. If this is your first time here, my name is Ernie Silovic and I'm a relationship trainer and therapist where I teach couples how to be masters in the art and science of love, romance, communication, fun, excitement, passion and emotional fulfillment. As a result, let's look at the four horsemen and their antidotes. The first and most common horseman is criticism. Being critical is often the expression of built up or unresolved anger. Criticism is different from a complaint. A complaint focuses on a specific issue, yet criticism is an attack on your partner. Criticisms often start with the word you. For example, you don't care. You always put others first. You should have finished by now. You never show any interest in me. You can almost see the wagging finger in front of your partner's face. Now criticisms also tend to be generalizations as you'll frequently hear phrases such as you never or you always. Criticism can also have devastating effects because it makes your partner feel attacked rejected and hurt. If you find that you and your partner are critical of each other, don't assume your relationship will fail. Yet the problem with criticism is that when it becomes prevalent, it actually opens the door for the next horseman. The second horseman is contempt. What differentiates contempt from criticism is the intention to insult and psychologically abuse your partner, where we treat them with disrespect. For example, calling them names, using insults and body language such as eye rolling and sneering. So with this horseman you will hear phrases such as, you're stupid, you're disgusting, you're incompetent and so forth. You might also hear hostile humor, mockery, ridicule, which is a form of insulting your partner's sense of self. When we communicate like this, the other person feels worthless. According to Gottman, contempt is the single greatest predictor of a relationship breakdown. He's even referred to contempt as sulfuric acid for love as it's the single most destructive of the four horsemen. Let's look at some examples. You're tired. I've been with the baby all day and all you do when you come home from work is sit on the sofa and play those stupid video games. I don't have time to deal with another child. You're pathetic. The third horseman is defensiveness, which is typically a response to criticism or contempt, especially after feeling insulted. Since defensiveness is an understandable reaction to criticism or contempt is one reason it's so destructive. Defensiveness though tends to escalate a conflict rather than resolve it. Let's look at an example. Did you call Brad to let him know we're not going to their place for dinner tonight? You promised and told me so this morning. I was just far too busy. You know how busy my schedule is. Why didn't you just do it and be done with it? The defensive partner doesn't take responsibility and is making excuses. Instead, they blame their partner, which then prevents communication and healthy conflict resolution. That now opens the door to the final horseman, stonewalling. Stonewalling happens when the other person withdraws from the interaction. They shut down and stop talking. This builds emotional walls. Now, it can take some time for the negativity created from the first three horsemen for this to become an understandable response. What stonewalling actually does is convey disapproval. There is a big difference between disagreeing with someone and disapproving of them. Disapproving of someone puts you and them in an I'm right and you are wrong position and makes you appear superior. If either of one of you refuses to communicate whenever conflict arises, it can be very difficult to heal a relationship. Being able to identify the four horsemen in your relationship is a first step to eliminating them. Knowing them isn't enough though. Gottman provided us with four proven antidotes that you'll need to utilize in order to break through the negativity of the horsemen. If you utilize these antidotes in your relationship, it is almost certain to improve it dramatically. This doesn't mean it will be easy yet is definitely worthwhile, especially if you want to save and repair your relationship. It will take courage, strength and trust to use them. It's also important you do these so they become second nature. So let's look at the antidotes to the four horsemen. The antidote for criticism is to use a soft or gentle start up. Use our statements where you express your feelings without blaming the other person. Be hard on the problem, soft on the person. Express what you need in a positive way. The antidote to contempt is to build a culture of appreciation and respect in your relationship. There are a number of ways to do this, such as expressing appreciation, gratitude, affection, 
and respect for your partner. If you have five or more positive interactions for every one negative interaction, then you're making regular positive assurances into the health of your relationship bank account. As an example, instead of, you forgot to load the washing machine again. You are so lazy, say, I understand that you've been busy lately, yet yeah, could you please load the washing machine when I work late? I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. This antidote is a respectful request and it ends with a statement of appreciation. The antidote to defensiveness is to take responsibility even if only for part of the conflict. As an example, did you call Charlie to let him know that we're not going out for a meal tonight? You promised this morning. Oh gosh, I completely forgot. I knew I was going to be busy today and I was supposed to have asked you. Let me call him right now. By taking responsibility, this partner prevents the conflict from escalating. When you take responsibility even for part of the problem, you'll find that you can talk through the issue with your partner. The antidote to stonewalling is physiological self-soothing. In one of Gottman's research studies, he interrupted couples after 15 minutes of an argument and told them he needed to adjust the equipment. He asked them not to talk about their relationship, rather to just read magazines for half an hour. When the couple started talking again, their heart rates were much lower and their interaction was much more respectful and productive. Let's look at what happened during that half hour. Well, each partner physiologically soothed themselves by reading the magazine since they stopped the discussion. As they felt much calmer, they were able to return to the discussion in a much more respectful and rational way. Therefore, the antidote to stonewalling is to practice physiological self-soothing. And the first step of self-soothing is to stop the discussion. As an example, look, we've been through this over and over again. Honey, I'm sorry to stop you there and I'm feeling really overwhelmed and upset right now. Can we take a break for 20 minutes and then we can talk? Hence, the break is supposed to last at least 20 minutes because it will take that long before your body physiologically calms down. Spend your time doing something self-soothing, such as listening to music, playing a video game, going for a short walk or reading. Whatever it is you feel you need to do as long as it is soothing. We have now covered the four horsemen and how to counteract them with their proven antidotes. You have some of the essential tools to manage conflict in a healthier way. I have done my best to keep this as simple as possible for the purposes of this video. If you'd like to know more, I cover this in more detail in my programs. I trust you have enjoyed this video and to ensure you keep getting more great quality information. Click on one of the other videos at the end here. Or if you really want your relationship to move forwards in the most effective way, start going through your program, Awaken His Passion, A Course for Women, or Awaken Her Passion, A Course for Men. I go into more detail with this information there. You receive a full 30-day money-back guarantee and get to listen to two-thirds of the course with online support in our Facebook group to find out if it is a good fit for you, so click on the link in the description box. Or if you prefer for now to watch some shorter videos and still get great quality content, like how to minimize arguments in your relationship or how to know your relationship is in trouble and the like, click on the videos you see on your screen now. I hope to see you in our Facebook group.